I don't know about old people in other cultures or in your culture, but in mine, when old people attend a wedding, they tend to make fun of everything. Nothing th uh, satisfies them. It's either the buffet, the bride's dress, or anything. But they must find something to comment on and to even make a fuss about sometimes. This kind of person who asks a question would only argue with you for the sake of argument and he's called the oldest at a wedding. He may not have a point, but he's just there to argue, annoy or interrupt you or something else rather than learning. Anyways, you don't know what his problem is for real, but this kind is actually called internationally the heckler. You can find a lot of videos of actors or stand-up comedians dealing with that sort of person on YouTube and you will find how much annoying they can be. So, to handle that kind of person, the first thing you need to do when you deal with the heckler or the oldest at a wedding is to listen. Listen in order to, to identify his motives behind these questions. For example, when you tell him, so I'm introducing to you this technique which will help you boost your personal productivity and therefore succeed. He may ask, so this personal productivity thing isn't going to help me be successful now, isn't it? Here, firstly, you need to listen. Then the second step in order to deal with such a person is to reframe his question. For example, you need to tell him, so you're asking me if the techniques I'm going to give you are effective and successful, right? And then he would tell you, yeah. So you tell him, okay, yes, I can guarantee you that it's right because it's been tried. And you can give him some success stories about people who applied your course. But if he told you, no, I mean this and this and this and this and this, and he started going about it again and again and he started arguing and doubting everything you say. You can simply tell him, okay, so I have to stop you right here and we're going to complete this discussion later or in the break because we don't have time for that. And you can actually say, okay, I think that you've given this so much thought. Why don't you check your reference and check this reference as well and come back to me the next time to discuss your point even further. And that's it. You have to end this discussion. You shouldn't make fun of him and you shouldn't be hesitant, of course, because that will show that you are weak. You don't want to appear as a weak person or as a weak trainer in front of your audience.